Hey everyone, welcome to the second episode of Cooking Websites, where I share the web design tools that I use all the time to build websites. On this episode, we will have a slight lean towards accessibility because it's an incredibly important part of web design. Tool number one is Umdraw, which is an open source illustration library. And uh, one thing I know for sure is that as long as people make websites, those websites will have illustrations. <laughs> and this is perfect if you're not the most gifted designer or just don't want to make the illustrations from scratch. And if we're being honest, 90% of the time, we all take ready illustrations and adjust, right? <laughs> So Andra has a lot of illustrations to choose from. So let's say you're making a 404 page here in the search bar, just write 404. And we have some interesting options here. Me, the space obsessed person I am, I will choose this spaceship one. You can download an SVG or a PNG. So I will download the SVG and pop it into Figma. And now I'll just adjust it a little bit. I will get rid of those, these little creatures. I don't really like them that much. And I think instead of the creature, I want a cat. So I'll just take another illustration here. Ah, uh -huh, perfect. And now that's ready to be put on an actual page. Great. The next tool I absolutely love is Typescale. It simply helps you get the sizing right for text on the page so that the texts are in the right proportions and accessible. You can check the examples here on the right and See what looks good. And they have a whole landing page here in beautiful proportions, if I do say so myself. And all the sizing for all the text. So let's go back to that 404 page. We have the illustration already, but there would usually traditionally for a 404 page would be having a description and a button that brings you back home or any other location. So Let's apply the type scale sizing to these texts. Remember that there are different sizing uh, options. So here, for example, we're using points. So that's already at 12. And now let's add the button. Okay, so far so good. Next is Coolers, Colors, <laughs> Contrast Checker, which will show you if there's enough contrast between your text and your background. Why these checkers are so important is because if you don't have any visual impairments, you sometimes can't really tell if your design is accessible enough. So for example, let me quickly change the color of this button to the, the same, the spaceship color, so it fits the layout. Let's see how that looks. We're in the color checker here. The text color was completely white. And this is our background color. Oh, this actually, I was 100% sure that this will be enough contrast because just by looking at it, this seems okay, right? I can read it pretty easily, but um, 
according to the web content accessibility guidelines, it doesn't. So it proves the thing that I said before, that it's just hard to tell. So cool thing about this particular tool is that here, it gives you the option to fix it. For some things you could, they could fix the text or both text and the background, but now we just have the option to adjust the background. And here we go. Okay, it was this beautiful, rich blue. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna adjust the color here quickly, run back to Figma and add those little color accents, change them from the purple to the blue. I have a quick bonus tool for you because I just thought it would go perfectly with this design and I just couldn't not share it. I thought it would look cool if the spaceship would float while you're on the page, but the cat would stay the same place. So I'll use WP Bakery AI to write custom code for that motion. First, let me give an extra class name to the spaceship. Space ship. And here in the page settings, here's the custom CSS option and here's AI. Let's jump in there and ask. Generate. Let's insert it into the page right here and switch this to our extra class name. And here we go. Okay, now we have a floating spaceship for everyone who stumbled on a wrong link or a broken link. I personally love this option because I do not know how to code. <laughs> uh, but I can somehow apply effects that just pop into my head. So. That's pretty magical. And those were some of my favorite tools. And if you want to see more tools, subscribe to our channel and you'll get notified when the next episode comes out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then.